to the Holiday Blitz Day 5. Okay, we are gonna go over the last two printables that are in your Holiday Blitz packet. And today I'm gonna do more like a workshop. I'm actually gonna talk about the Sunday basket. I'm gonna show you how you can use right now a holiday basket and a new year basket in conjunction with your Sunday basket. And I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. Like I'm physically going to sort my Sunday basket into these three boxes. I am not going to organize things into slash pockets. Now, for those of you that are brand new to Organize 365, there will be a lot of things that I talk about today where you're like, wait, what's that? What's all access? What's the Sunday basket club? What is the complete Sunday basket? Just know that those of you that have been in the Organize 365 audience are going to understand what I'm talking about, and we could dive in deeper into all of the unique Organize 365 organizing um, solutions as we go on. So I'm gonna just basically talk about how you take a Sunday basket, which is my inbox. It's my holding place for all of my thoughts, my ideas, my mail, and I go through it on Sunday, which is why I call it the Sunday basket. So we're gonna talk about the Sunday basket. And normally you go through this every Sunday, but what is different is we are now going to take all of those to-dos and we are going to sort some of them into a holiday box and a New Year's box. Wait, Lisa, but then I have to go through three boxes every single Sunday. Right. This is why I do not suggest that you do this on a regular basis, but this is something that I do the last eight weeks of every single year. Now you don't actually have to go through three boxes. You only have to go through two, your Sunday basket and your holiday box. Your New Year's box is going to purposefully move anything out of your Sunday basket out of your eyesight for two months. And then you're going to go back to your um, New Year box. Okay, so on your sheet, we have these boxes. The colors are different. They have the Sunday basket. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what colors they are. We have nine colors. I'm just always grabbing different colors. To me, red is holidays and blue is the new year. And we have two different colors of blue if you want to do new year. Okay, so Sunday basket, holiday box, and new year box. Now in the Sunday basket, and you've got another sheet here where you could just do this on your in your mind about what you want to do with the holidays. But in the Sunday basket, we put everything that would normally be on your kitchen counter. Mail, forms to fill out, um, receipts, every, well you'll see because I'm going to pull it out. So here are things that are in my Sunday basket. Oh, so exciting. All right. So, so, so many things. First of all, let's start with the fact that the Christmas cards got here. Here's my Christmas card. See, YouTube? Here's my Christmas card. Christmas cards got here. Christmas cards are going to go in my Sunday box, in my holiday box. So this is the Organized 365 box. It has a divider in here so you can stand up your slash pockets. That's why things are not falling over. So in this big part here that does not have the divider, that's where I'm going to put my Christmas cards. Okay, so I'm going to put my Christmas cards in there. Next, these are $100. Visa gift cards that I bought for my kids. Kids, these are not for you to spend. These we are gonna to give to them at Thanksgiving for them to put in their glove box in case they need gas or they need money. Their debit card doesn't work or they're out of cash. You know, teenagers. So we're giving them this at Thanksgiving. That's going in my holiday box. Here's a gift idea of something Greg wants in my holiday box. I am going to make something. I know I don't cook. I'm going to make this cake. It is called Coffee Toffee Crunch Cake from the Pioneer Magazine. That is going in my holiday box. Um, this I have to do this weekend. So this is going to stay in my Sunday basket, but since my Sunday basket's not empty, I'm going to put it here. Oh, this is Abby's wish list for Christmas. Holiday box. Mail, check to deposit, something related to my kids, mail. That's all going to stay in the Sunday basket. Let me finish emptying it out. Um, okay, coupons will go in the holiday box. These are just things I need to file that are personal. Okay, another gift idea, holiday box. Okay. So, now, I have in the big part of my Sunday basket, household bill paying, regular household maintenance stuff in the front. You saw what I just put, put in the front of my holiday box. Here's a bill that came yesterday that's going in my regular Sunday basket. Now, how the Sunday basket works, as we have all of these slash pockets, okay? And when you learn how to use a Sunday basket, you learn what all these slash pockets mean. Some we do every week, some are holding projects. 
This is the beauty of having the New Year box, okay? I was thinking about this last night. I'm telling you to put anything in there that you need in January. So I said, okay, am I gonna say January 1st? Or am I gonna say January 3rd, because that's the first Friday in January? Or am I going to say January 6th, because that is the first Monday in January and when most people will go back to school and work? And what I decided is, this is actually not going to be my New Year box, this is gonna be my February box. So if it has to be done before February, I am going to leave it in my Sunday basket. That way, if someone gets sick over winter break or something, I'm not stressing about what is in that New Year box. And already, as I was trying to piecemeal what needed to be done, like I have in here um, our LLC books for both my business and Joey's business. Those are gonna stay in the Sunday basket, even though I don't need to make my next quarterly payment until January 15th, because if it's in the New Year box, and I don't get to that until like the 10th of January, it would be too late and that's too stressful for me. So anything that can wait until February is gonna go in my New Year box. This is holidays, this is Sunday basket. So I'll sort these real quick. This is a project I have to do for Abby, it stays in my Sunday basket. Money stays in my Sunday basket. More money. Okay, so my general files for my kids that just have information in that I rarely access, I'm gonna put that in my New Year box. Likewise, I have a, a file just for me, ideas for me. I'm going to put that in my New Year's box. We're going to Italy in March, so that can go in the New Year box. Things that need to be filed. Are you kidding me? It's the end of the year. I'm not filing right now. That could go in the New Year box. Joey, I'm going to leave in here because he's going to be home at Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I want to make sure there's nothing in there that I want to give him. Charitable is going to stay in my Sunday basket because we will be doing a lot of charitable things. Uh, I want to take Greg on the bourbon trail. Clearly not happening in the next eight weeks, so that'll go in the New Year box. Okay, power of attorney. My kids are 18 and 19 years old. This is actually going in the holiday box. I know, weird, right? My boxes are going to be different than your boxes. Every single person watching is going to have different boxes. Because my kids are 18 and 19, we're giving them these $100 cards to put in their car. We're equipping their cars for snow. And we're going to have them both sound, sign power of attorneys up at the... Um, bank because they're 18 and 19 and we need to be able to continue to act on their behalf as power of attorney services uh, I'm kind of in the middle of working on that this is filing and holiday blitz okay so here are all the printables from holiday blitz so I'm gonna put that in the holiday box now you'll see that I have three boxes of things here's the thing in my company I always have this many boxes going on I have like my weekly box like everything that I'm gonna work on this week that I decide on Friday, I have a whole ton of slash boxes that I'm working on. Then I have my weekly box where I put stuff in and I go through my, my traditional Friday box, which as I finish things from here, they go in here. And then I have a quarterly business box where anything that I'm not working on in the business this quarter stays over here. It's actually right down here underneath me on this bookshelf. So this box is not gonna stay on my kitchen counter, this New Year box. It's gonna stay in my office. So if I were to need something, let's say, out of the Lisa file, I can come get it from here. It's not like I've thrown it away or anything. Or as I go through things, and let's say, um, which I might do, I might just go ahead and pay our quarterly taxes now, even though it's early. And then I'll take these files and I'll put them in the New Year box. And the goal is that these boxes will become emptier and emptier. So now that we've gotten rid of the New Year box, let's move that away, we're left with two boxes. And yes, every Sunday, you're going to have to go through your Sunday basket and your holiday box. But here's the thing. Thanksgiving is coming up soon. When you go through this box, you're only going to be pulling out the things that are for Thanksgiving, and you're going to pull them out and do them at Thanksgiving, or maybe that weekend you'll go through the box and do your Christmas cards or whatever else. If you miss things in the holiday box, it's not as big of a deal. As you're getting receipts back, you just throw them in the holiday box. Uh, as you get invitations to parties, whatever your mind will go to I'm paying bills I'm taking care of my house I'm taking care of my family when you're doing the Sunday basket you may decide that you want to do the holiday box on Saturday mornings or Friday afternoon because you're going to do a lot of shopping on Sundays and it will keep your holiday planning separate from your day-to-day -day bill paying and on and on and on okay let's let's dress up this holiday box a little bit in your sheet I give you these rainbow um, labels. So this is called the Sunday Basket 1.0. I, I sell two different kinds of slash pockets. This is the 1.0. It comes with five pockets. 
They are red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And these are the ones you do every single week inside of the Sunday basket. And we also have a work box. In the work box, you have two of them. You have these same labels in the Sunday basket in your work box, and then you have a Monday through Friday label set. We are gonna take one set of these 1.0s and we are going to label them. And they are labeled Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, New Year, and Hanukkah. So you may celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah. <laughs> if you don't celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah, then you're gonna have one uh, empty one that you can use for whatever you want. You might label it receipts. You might change what these colors are. I just gave you a starting point. In all of our Organized 365 products, we tell you what to label the files so you can get started right away, and then you can modify the system to work for you. So we always do the holiday blitz in, things in November, which misses Halloween every single year. So you are going to keep these slash pockets in your holiday box. And when you are done with your holiday box in January, I suggest you just take these five slash pockets and you pack them with your Halloween stuff. So when you get out your Halloween decorations, you could start your holiday box in October next year before we run the Blitz again. So how slash pockets work are like this. Um, you know what I would what I would probably do because I celebrate Christmas and not Hanukkah. I would probably change the one that you're not using to gift ideas. So I'm going to relabel this uh, blue one gift ideas because that's what I have the most paper of. So these are gift ideas gift ideas gift ideas okay no is it all my papers okay so now i have all my gift ideas in one slash bucket this i am making for thanksgiving this cake i'm making for thanksgiving the gift cards we're giving to our kids at thanksgiving and the power of attorney is already in its own slash bucket but if it wasn't i might put that in my thanksgiving folder and then I have Christmas tickets that I've bought. I need to go find those and put those in there. And Halloween's done, so it's gonna be empty. But I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in here so I don't lose the slash pocket. And I don't have anything for New Year yet. If you don't do a lot for New Year's, I don't do a lot for New Year's, you might change that green one to receipts so that you have a place for all your receipts to go. Do you see what I'm saying? So here's how we've originally set it up. Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Hanukkah. Mine is gonna be Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, receipts, gift ideas. So you could change them however you want. Then the last page in your holiday blitz is this one. And this one is where you can plan out your ideas for Thanksgiving, for New Year's, for your house. What are your ideas for things that need to be done? Maybe you transfer them off of those other holiday blitz sheets. So that is how you can organize your holidays. Do you all feel like you're gonna have a more organized, less stress holiday? I'm seeing it in the DMs, the emails we're getting, the comments on all of these videos. You're feeling lighter. So often we feel like I don't have time to plan, I don't know what to plan, but it is true. Every minute you spend in planning, you save four to five in execution. So if you've watched all of these videos, which have all been about um, eight to 10 minutes, you've invested one hour in planning, like just in learning about planning, do you feel like you will save at least five hours this holiday because you have proactively thought about all of these things? I wanna see comments on the live. Have you? Yes, yes, yes. If you're watching this on YouTube later, still comment and say yes, because I will go in and I will read all the comments from here until eternity. So I wanna hear, do you feel like you will take that one hour investment of watching all these videos and it will turn into five hours saved over the holidays? I hope you do.